Greetings, viewers, and welcome back to the Tales of Symphonia Completion walkthrough. This is episode 74. Should be the penultimate episode of our first playthrough. Uh, also should be pretty short. I'm just planning on taking care of a few loose ends over in Silveront before final episode that will be planning out playthrough 2 and curb stomping uh, Mythos. I realized I'm going the wrong direction, but I can just loop around because the world is round. Okay. Hope you all have been doing well. I have, as always, been struggling with my health. Almost did not get this episode out according to schedule, but decided, you know what, I think I can do this. Feeling okay. And I think finishing this first playthrough will give me a nice sense of accomplishment. So. First of all, actually, you know what would make more sense? To zip over to the other side. I think. Well, not there, obviously, because that's not even an ent entrance. But now that I think about it, no, the part I want is actually in the middle of the town, so either one would have been fine. Oh well. At this point, the joke weapons are no longer overpowered, but I want to buy them so that they will show up in my, uh, what's it called? My collector's book here. Apparently this is the item shop. Which one was the weapon shop again? Maybe that was on that first. Yeah, I was here. <laughs> Customization? No. Yeah, this is what I want. Wow, it's still stronger than... Whatever. Uh, it's not as strong as this one. Oh, that's right, and like, uh... He has his Devil's Arm equipped, so yes. The base strength of the paper fan is better than the base strength of the devil's arm, but I'm sure it does not, uh, or it is not more than the devil's arm base strength plus the bonus I get for number of kills. Okay, so that's it for here. Next up, let's see here. What else am I doing? Um, let's go say hi to Dad real quick and use up any pellets I might have. The annoying quest to fill out the figurine book. dads.
Let's see here. I'm going to switch out Zealous Zelos for Colette. Otherwise, that's a good thing for what I'm doing. And let's see how easy this is in comparison to the bosses we've been fighting the last couple turn uh, episodes. In fact, I'm even going to. Give it to her. I believe this enemy is weak against light, so I'm gonna give her a topaz. Oh yeah, and then picks. Uh -huh. Turn those on. So you have come, strong ones. I have reclaimed all I had once lost. Now fight! Everything was for this moment. Not much of a specimen. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a magic lens. Oh yeah. All out. Demonic chaos. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty good, super right? easy. I, uh, oh, farewell, strong ones. Is it over? Yes, I don't think it will appear again. With this, that poor skeleton's finally been saved. Saved? It might have been painful for him to, if he had to give up, but if he was satisfied, and then it means he's been released from his suffering. Suffering? I never thought about that at all. In other words, even that monster may have be had a reason to be seeking combat. But I think his desire was finally fulfilled. While it may have been a creature of the underworld, it still possessed intelligence, just like us. It has a reason for existing. I let my preconceptions prevent me from seeing such an obvious thing. It looks like even I still have a lot to learn. So sometimes you can save someone just by fighting and defeating them. I think he was satisfied because you worked so hard for him. You're amazing, Colette. Huh? Thanks to you, that guy was saved. Yes, if Colette hadn't d told us this, he would have been nothing more than another defeated monster. Okay. And then... So, um, you might remember from a handful of episodes back, when we went to Asalia for a shopping trip, there was a skit where um, Sheena heard the voice of Corin. Uh, if you haven't been to Asalia since coming back from the final dungeon, then go in there to see that. 
and then Sheena asked about places nearby with like spiritual significance and the Martell Temple was mentioned so we're gonna go there in fact just cuz we're gonna put Sheena in I don't believe it's at all necessary but I'm sure about this Corinne is here but there wasn't a summon spear here Sheena but I can feel him! I can feel Corinne! Let's go further in. Please, Lloyd? Okay, sure, let's go. Not much of a specimen. <laughs> Ready? That's it? I was just getting. Excuse me, it's been quite some time since I've been to the Martell Temple. More battles? <laughs> Ready? Right! <laughs> Here! Is it just my imagination? He doesn't seem to be here. Sheena. What? Corinne's bell is... Oh yeah, if you don't have Corinne's bell back from... Uh, what's his name? The guy that she fought one-on-one. -on -one. I forget the name off the top of my head. For some reason, then I don't believe you can see the scene. Corinne! Corinne, is that you? Sheena, descendant of those who control powers of summoning. You who showed me the human heart. You're not Corinne? Desire, generosity, laughter, sadness, anger, violence, concern, love, hate. What the heck is it saying? What will I ultimately gain from the human heart? I, Various, pose this question upon you. Now show me... Here it comes! I have felt your hearts. Anxiety, regret, impatience, loneliness, but even greater hope, courage, and love. We're not going to fight? I exist to observe all beings that possess a heart. I form no pacts. I will be bound by no one. You said your name was Various. Who are you? Sheena, I am the one who was once known as Corinne, the summon spirit that's had the longest contact with the human heart. Contact with the human heart? When my strength was fading, human hearts held on to me. All human emotion, both negative and positive, changed me into the summon spirit of heart, various. So you're Corinne, right? Yes. Yes, you can say that I am Corinne. We can be together again, right? You'll come with me, right? Corinne. No, I shall become part of the world and watch over all those that possess heart. No. Sheena, descendant of summoners, I cannot go with you. However, my heart will be with you. For my existence as the summoned spirit of heart was established by touching your hearts. Our hearts will be together. Yes, they will, as long as you, as long as people have hearts. I shall be with all people, and I shall continue to walk with you, Sheena. 
as long as we have hearts? Never forget, your promise with me is your heart. Our hearts. This is great, Sheena. Corinne is back. That's right. If it was the human heart that brought Corinne back as Varius, it was your heart that did it, Sheena. No, it was because of all of you. It was your hearts that brought Varius and me together. Thank you, everyone. Okay, and so that has absolutely no mechanical reward. Um, it's just a nice little wrap-up of uh, loose end. Yeah, no, no mechanical reward, no achievement, nothing. Always felt like it deserved something a little better. Okay, um, I think that's it. Uh, obviously, if you can think of anything that I'm forgetting that uh, I should take care of during this playthrough, you can go ahead and drop it in the comments. Uh, essentially have a week until I... Uh, go ahead and record that final episode, and uh, we'll be moving on to playthrough number two. And then that one will be, uh, well, it won't be quite as step-by-step -step as this one was, because obviously you've seen a lot of it. Uh, I'll, I'll probably record a lot and then do a lot of editing and more show you just the bits that are different from the first playthrough. The plan being that we're going to do, um, we're going to do the hard mode, aka uh, near early in the game when we had the chance of um, the chance to take the ship here, all the way across to Palma Costa, so across there. Uh, instead, we're going to go north on foot and cross this bridge. And uh, we'll be dealing with a lot stronger enemies a lot earlier, but hopefully we'll be able to deal with that. And going this route, you can get Sheena early. Um, we're also going to be going for the big um, story branch uh, by having uh, picking Kratos at the uh, Flanwar Doctor event. We'll probably also just for fun be playing on hard mode, you know, battle difficulty as well. Uh, I, I, I think I've decided against doing a low level run as well, all in the same, uh, all in the same playthrough. Um, so yeah, that is what we have to look forward to, and. There's anything else? Uh, oh yeah, I, I guess another thing we'll be doing for next episode is figuring out exactly which New Game Plus Great Shop abilities we need and um, making sure we have enough grade for that. If not, I'll probably be doing a lot of grinding against uh, weak enemies I can kill real quickly without taking any damage because that's the best way to grind your grade. Uh, sure. Alright, I think that's it. Um, we're at almost 20 minutes. Uh, it's, again, a very short episode, but um, I arbitrarily decided that I want to do 75 episodes for the first playthrough, so that's how it is. Alright, Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, found something useful from it. And um, I'll catch you next time. Bye.